calling for a unification of the civil rights leaders. He said, we have to find a common solution to a common problem posed by a common enemy. Then, then, not, then not, not only that, um, Dr. Um, Dr. King in his last book, Where We Go From Here, Chaos of Community, page 133, he praised the Nation of Islam for their program to rehabilitate uh, African-American drug addicts and ex, uh, ex-offenders and things like this. He said that uh, he disagreed with the separatist uh, uh, ideology, but he praised them for the work that they were doing in the community. And he said that um, uh, African-American organizations uh, need to do the same thing, okay, with, without some of the ideology of the Nation of Islam. So a lot of people don't know this, all right? And the, the other thing that's really important to understand is uh, when we look at, now I've said this before, this is one, re- one reason why I don't get invited to speak. I, I spoke, I spoke in, in 2015 at the Charles E. Wright Museum and uh, they didn't ask me to come back. Now for that, for Dr. King Day, but I, I talked about how the civil rights movement was not a nonviolent movement. And one of my teachers, Professor James Small, who was there, he told me that personally, because if it had not been for Negroes with guns, there would not have been a civil rights movement. That's not, that's not me, but uh, if you read the book by uh, Professor Charles E. Cobb Jr., who was a field secretary for, for a SNCC. But clearly when he said on his speech, uh, I've been to...